um, oh guys, yeah, this is a very, this is a very devastating. This is a very hard time for Choma, like especially for Choma. I know it is Choma and the dude that goes that goes that song together, but especially Choma, this is a very hard time for Choma. Oh guys, yeah, report that just coming that as soon as Choma just entered the hospital and saw her son's dead body, like she started, she started running mad, she started going crazy, like she was going crazy. I mean, can you can you imagine how that feels? Like your first and only son, your first and only son laying dead in your hands, and just like. Everything happened so fast. Like, it happened so fast. Choma and David were just chilling in the in the when they received the very call from the like, from the hospital, the FRK hospital in Reiki about this very incident. I mean, guys, just just imagine you are chilling with your with your with your husband to be at you know at a very nice place in Badon. Then suddenly you receive a call that your only son, like your one and only son, has just drowned in the pool and is dead. Like, even, um, guys, even the the people at the people at the hospital has confirmed that as soon as Choma stepped her foot into that place, like she started going crazy, like she also started going crazy. And even when Choma and David finally took you know them, he found his body back to him, David's father's house. Like they say, she almost you no, know, she almost tried to kill herself. She tried to jump from the you know from the upstairs to downstairs because this frustration is too like she's very very frustrated. So guys, if you know you are a Christian, you are a Muslim, anything, Baba or anything you are doing, please try and put Choma and David in your prayers. Like try and put the other kids in your prayers and the rulers because these two guys they are going through a lot. They are going through a lot. We all know how David love and cherish this system. Like David really love this guy. He even got a tattoo of this guy's face on his arm, like on his hand. And this is and this. This is this is a very this is a very very sad time for David. Be the chef, be the chef, be the cook. How the boy entered the pool, they don't know, and this looks so kind of um, suspicious. And the boy stayed inside the water for that long, and the the the, 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 the domestic staffs, the nanny, the cook, all of them, they didn't know. Ah uh ah, -uh. uh, what were they paid for? That, that is total negligence. I don't know. This sounds suspicious. Like honestly speaking, like I said earlier. Um, they were the one that brought the child um, to the hospital, um, Evercare Hospital, actually, not Lagoon, it is Evercare Hospital. And then um, Chioma and the video, they were not around, like I reported earlier, they were not at home, I thought they went on a trip. And then I've seen some comments, some people blaming Chioma, some parents blaming Chioma, like, why would she leave her child, or why would they put pool in there, why would they do this or that? Like, this is not the time to be blaming anyone. Chioma is really broken right now, and the video is just... It's really sad and um, that they are actually making plans for his 30th birthday but as it is now i don't think that is going to happen anymore and his show coming up this this november ah um, um, um. and i've seen some people cloud chasing with this story saying they've spoken to the video they've confirmed that he's alive that the boy is alive they're speaking, speaking to the video they're speaking to the family that he's alive and I'm, why are they doing this why cloud chasing with this i know it is it is really bad they've confirmed from the family source from the video sharing fake chat that the boy is alive the boy is receiving treatments why oh it is well it is well